With Rob Lewis, Brent Hubs, VolQuest.com, positional previews. Today we look at maybe the biggest surprise in all the positional previews we've done the last five or six years, Rob. There are names that you know on the defensive line who have proven themselves, and there's a bunch of them. Whereas all these have been, can they get it? Can, can a freshman come in? What kind of impact can a freshman make? That doesn't have to be the case with this defensive I mean, line. What a luxury. I mean, Tennessee's got an SEC defensive line. I mean, it may, may not be, I'm not saying it's the best defensive line in the league, but it is a quality SEC defensive line and not just, you know, the, the, the first team. I'm talking you know, two deep and even three at some positions. I mean, it, they're playing a three, four, but if you count, if you count Darryl, Darryl Taylor as a defensive end, which I kind of do here, that's your big question mark. Where's the pass rush going to come from? I think Matthew Butler is the is your leading returning pass rusher with two and a half sacks. That's a, that's a question mark. I mean, I think Darrell Middleton can help you out there, but just quality depth across the board for the first time in years. In Tennessee, they get off the bus looking like an SEC defensive line for the first time in maybe more than a decade I mean, with quality guys. I mean, they may not have a first team all SEC player, but they've got guys that you can legitimately see in you know, come off the board on, on, on draft day yeah, know, n- next year, they, a bunch of them. Yeah, they certainly do. And, I mean, Middleton's a guy who we, we saw it in the Alabama game. You know, he had that one series where he took over. I mean, whenever he decides to put it all together, you know, he can be a really good player. Uh, you got just bodies. You know, you can rotate heavy. You got Greg Emerson who came on at times late in the year. Butler, who you mentioned, did a bunch of dirty work for, for Tennessee, uh, you know, moving forward in there. You, you just got so many bodies that Jimmy Brumball has. I think the bigger question is, can Jimmy Brumball figure it, without having a spring practice to get to know him, can he figure out what makes all those guys work? What what buttons to push with Darrell Middleton to make him at his best? Same for Greg Emerson. How quickly does he understand the personality of his group to maximize those guys? And how do those guys develop? Because if they do take a step, you know, individually, if you if you have a lot of guys take a step forward, this has a chance to be a really good defensive line. If they they just get a little bit better, you know, as we've seen Matthew Butler get, as we've seen again, he's technically an outside linebacker, but the step as we've seen Kevon Bennett get better. If you can get just a if Brumbaugh or you know who, who whoever is responsible for it can get several guys just to take a little bit step forward, add something to their game, get a little stronger, a little faster. I mean, you have a chance to have one of the best defensive fronts here that they've had in a while. And that's not saying a lot because they've not been really good up front. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not you know, outside of, you know, Derek Barnett individually being a great player. Tennessee, I mean, that's been a weak link for this program for, for a number of years. Well, it's interesting because this group is no longer about just survival. It is literally about making plays. I think they spent the first part of last year you know, just, hey, hold a gap, hold up a gap, and let linebackers or other guys come fill those gaps. I think there's a real expectation for some guys to really become playmakers. The question is, will they take that next step under Jimmy Brumball? He has got, of all the 19 defensive line coaches it seems like they've had here the last 10 or 12 years, he's got the best group to work with in terms of guys who have experience, some talent to build off of, of any coach who's come in and inherited that situation. What can Jimmy Brumball get out of those guys? Hopefully we'll find out this fall.